Hello my lovelies, it's Zena, and today I want to show you two different ways how to calculate this expression here. We have 16 over 25 and all of this is raised to the power of 3 over 2. The first way I want to show you is to get rid of these parentheses first. So we are allowed to apply this exponent to the numerator and then as well to the denominator so that we have 16 in the numerator raised to the power of 3 over 2 and in the denominator the same thing but with a 25 we're going to raise this to the power of 3 over 2 as well. And now we have two separate powers and we can take a look at each of them separately. Let's start with this power here where we have base 16, which is kind of nice because this is a square number. So we can write the 16 as 4 squared. This is my 16. But then I also have to raise it to this power, so I have to write it in parentheses and raise it to the power of 3 over 2. Same thing with my 25 here, it's also a square number, so I can write this base here as 5 squared, so that I have my 25 here. I write it in parentheses and I also have to raise it to the power of 3 over 2. So this is how my expression looks like now. Uh, well, is it better than it actually was? It looks a little bit more complicated actually. But now that we have an exponent here and an exponent here, there is a rule that tells us that we are allowed to keep the base as it is, the 4, and then just multiply the exponents. So we have 2 times 3 over 2. And the same thing here, we have an exponent here and one here, so we keep the base as it is and we multiply the exponents so that we have 2 times 3 over 2. And now, well, let's multiply. We can cancel the 2 out here so that only the 3 is left, so we have 4 raised to the power of 3. And the same thing here, if we multiply, we can cancel the 2 out so that we have 5 raised to the power of 3 as a result. This is way easier now. Now we can only calculate this, so 4 to the power of 3 is 4 times 4 times 4, which equals 64, and 5 to the power of 3 is 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 125, and this is our result. But I wanted to show you a second way, which should be way faster, but you have to know one thing. We have raised to the power of 3 over 2. If you know that if you, let's say, we take x and raise it to the power of 1 over 2, then this is another way of writing the square root of x. So you can either use this expression here by raising it to the power of 1 over 2, or you can just write it as the square root of x. So let's apply this here where we kind of have raised to the power of 1 over 2. It's a 3 over 2, but if we multiply the 3 by 1, we can see this 1 over 2 in here. Yes, the 3 is also there and we are not just allowed to ignore it, but we have this 1 over 2 in here, so we can write it as square root. But let's start with our fraction first. So we have 16 over 25. And now we have these two numbers, the orange one and the green one, 3 and 1 over 2. And they are multiplied by each other, which means that I can apply them separately. So I can raise this fraction first to the power of 1 over 2 and then I can raise all of this to the power of 3. 
because there is this rule that we could multiply these exponents now, which gives us exactly this here. And now we can write our raised to the power of 1 over 2 as our square root. So instead of this first exponent, I'm going to write a square root. We have our fraction in here, but don't forget to raise this whole thing to the power of 3 as well. Okay, let's calculate the square root. We have square root of 16, which equals 4, and the square root of 25, which equals 5. We have to raise all of this to the power of 3, but now we can get rid of the parentheses again by applying this exponent to each part of our fraction in here. So we have 4 to the power of 3 over 5 to the power of 3, and we've already seen that this is 64 over 125, and we got the same results. I'm curious how you solved it, so please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!